We're going to move on to the manual muscle test for infraspinatus. Because of the action of doing external rotation, it's really, really hard to leave the person's arm on the table. And because we want to use gravity for it, we're going to hang his arm off the table. So in this case, he's going to be trying to bring his arm up as far as he can actively without trying to pick his whole shoulder and arm up off the table like so, because that's going to be using other muscles. So what I'm going to do is put my hand just underneath his arm here so as he does that action I can tell if he's starting to use other muscles because it's going to pick up off my hand. So whenever you're ready if you can do that action for me. So that is going to be the active range for infraspinatus. Okay. I'm going to take him about halfway through that and I'm going to be providing some resistance onto his forearm so the radius and ulna. Please do not put resistance onto the hand because otherwise you're going to engage forearm muscles as well. The other thing to check for is if they're using a lot of hand and wrist in the action, they might be putting too much effort forward from this. So the rotation is happening to the humerus here. So we won't be stabilizing as much as we can, but the shoulder is held stable by the table. So I'm going to ask him to hold this position and say again, don't let me move you as I'm going to push down for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're going to start with the arm hanging at the bottom here and he's going to push up. I'm going to let him win all the way through that action. Great. That is our concentric component and that concludes the manual muscle test part for infraspinatus. We're going to move on to the lengthening component now. And for infraspinatus, because we only used lateral rotation to lengthen it, we're going to use medial rotation. So I'm just going to switch hands as I put the opposite hand underneath his arm and I'm going to slowly bring him into as much medial rotation or internal rotation as possible. Again, I'm looking for that end feel, but if we take a look at his scapula, if I pushed past that, I would see the scapula starting to lift up. So that's beyond the muscle's limitation or moving other items. So we're just rotating until I start to see that inferior angle start to lift and that will be the end of infraspinatus.